Hello everyone, uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to customize your uh, Safari toolbar. Um, basically what this will, this um, customizing option will let you do is it adds buttons to your Safari toolbar which lets you access uh, some of the features in Safari a lot faster. So let's go ahead and uh, get started. Okay, open up Safari. Now, uh, my you have to right click on the top of the toolbar right here where the title is, and you guys may have a different option set for right clicking. Uh, my preference is uh, clicking once with two fingers on the trackpad, uh, and I am using a MacBook Pro just to let you guys know that's with a uh, trackpads only, I guess. But whichever right click option that you have set. That's the way you need to do it. So let's go ahead and right click. Um, go ahead and hit customize toolbar. And it is going to bring down this drop down menu here. And what this allows you to do is, like I said before, it allows you to add several buttons to your actual Safari toolbar to allow you to um, access that feature a lot faster. So, say I want to add the print button. Just drag and drop it, say right here. And now I have the print button there. And that just allows you to um, print the current web page. And you guys may be hearing the fan in the background, but just go ahead and ignore it. My computer kind of gets hot when I screen, uh, screen record. But anyway, you can also delete the search bar, as you can tell. It'll poof it away like so. And then that will enable you to fill up this entire space with all these different buttons. Say you can also add bookmarks, autofill, stuff like that. And then if you don't want these buttons, you just drag them back down into here. And it will take them away, just like so. And if you want to re-add the address bar and search bar, just drag and drop it right back into place. And for me, I like these two buttons on the uh, right side of it, like so. And there you go. You just basically, you can fully customize the toolbar to any way you would like it to personally be, which I really do like that. It lets me have uh, some really good customization options. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. And then when you're done, you just hit the done button. And there you go. You could hit, hit this button. There you go. I just added a new tab, things like that. So, yeah, I hope this I helped you guys out with this. Uh, this hit feature is kind of hidden for people that aren't uh, familiar with the Mac OS X uh, line. So, yeah, I get, hope I gotta help you guys out. So, hit the subscribe button there. Uh, make sure to thumbs up the video and uh, comment below if you have any questions. If you need any help, I'll be sure to help you guys out there. If you have any problems, don't be afraid to ask. And, yep, that's pretty much it. So, yeah, thank you for watching, and uh, peace out till next time.